Let's apply the Legendre transform one more time, starting with E. So E, as we know by now pretty well, is a function of S, V, and N. I'm just going to have it one component here, but you can generalize this to many components. So let's apply this again with respect to two of the uh, natural uh, variables, or the, the variables of which E is a natural function of. So E, let's call this a new function, little g, equals E minus partial E partial S times S minus partial E, partial V, times V. And again, we'll keep the other things fixed when we take these partial derivatives. So when we take with respect to S, V and N are constant, and with respect to V, then in this instance, S and N are constant. So what is this new thermodynamic state function? Well, let's write down this equation again for E. Differential E, and it is, equals T dS minus E dV plus mu dNi. Okay. And take the derivatives. dE dS is going to be equal to T. We did that before. So, let me write this down. Partial E, spark to, with respect to S, everything else have to fix. dN equals T. Okay, great. Now, the e dv. Make a semicolon there. Partial e with respect to v. Everything else kept fixed. S comma n equals what? Well, the e dv. Everything else kept fixed minus p. So now we can substitute these back in to the equation above. We get a new state function, g equals e minus ts plus pv. This actually is defined as cap g, the Gibbs free energy uh, state function. So what is the Gibbs free energy uh, a natural function of? Well, like uh, we did before, we take this derived state function and we take the derivative of it and calculate it out. So G, cap G, so the DG equals DE minus T ds minus s dt plus p dv minus v dp. I put the handwriting there, a little bit sloppy. So now let's substitute in for de again. dg, what is de? Equals t ds minus p dv plus mu dNi, or dN for one component, and then all this stuff, minus T dS minus S dT minus P, or plus P dV plus uh, V dP. Now what we have to do now is just figure out what cancels out. Here, gone, because of this, here. TDS, TDS, gone, gone. So what we're left with is DG equals minus SDT plus VDP plus mu DN. That's it. This is the Gibbs free energy. And what is it? A natural function of temperature pressure, and mole number.